Hi everyone, welcome to Draftscapes, I'm Chris Tuccio. This video is all about French curves. I'm going to show you what they are and how to use them after this. Hi everyone, so in my hand I have one of a variety of different French curves that I keep in my drafting supply kit for the use of landscape design drafting. Now, French curves actually are uh, primarily developed in fashion design industry. They were used uh, for drafters in, in doing sort of garment design for fashion uh, in, in sort of the older days. Um, but now we use them for a variety of different purposes in architecture and landscape design. And then there are also some derivative type of, of materials materials or tools that we can use that do similar things. But French curves are primarily used uh, in sets uh, to draw curved, uh, curved lines or radii for the purposes of paths or patios or different types of hardscape or softscape ground elements. And so what we're going to do is basically we're going to just grab a set. Uh, we're going to throw it up in the air and we're going to see how they're used for that purpose. Okay, so um, I have my French curve set here. This is just a set of three. You can get sets of eight to 12. Um, you know, they really run the gamut. They have all different uh, shapes and sizes. I have a 12 and a half, a six and a half, and a five and a half inch right here. Just a small set from Alvin. Um, I'll link in the description below uh, what I'm using. Um, the, the, the difference between French curves and some of the other things that we use is they're not a mathematical tool. So with the adjustable triangle, with the scales, when I went through uh, the purposes of using them, uh, really there was one way in which you use them. It was a metric in which you needed to read in order to use it correctly. With French curves, they're pattern making tools, they're templates. So, um, you know, your creativity is involved. And so you can use them a number of different ways, however you feel comfortable, in order to get the result that you like. So. You know, if you like the way the curve looks one way and you, you find that the French curve works uh, in, that, in that way, you keep doing it. And that's perfectly acceptable. Um, some students actually don't really like French curves at all. And so they move to uh, these flexible rulers. I'll show a picture. I don't have one with me today. Um, flexible rulers, uh, they're basically rubberized material that you sort of move uh, in order to get the shape that you like. And then you simply just draft over them. Um, I found them to be useful in certain circumstances circumstances, but not all the time. Uh, again, if you, if you like those, you can pick them up. Um, I'll link again in the description uh, where you can pick one of those up. So uh, for French curves, it's very simple in, in how to use them. Um, basically, uh, you'll have a design where you need to create some sort of curved area or curved path. It can be uh, a lawn or it can be an area of a paving or just a pathway that you want to be more organic or curved. And so, uh, you know, let's say I'm creating a tree here. I'm just using a regular old uh, pencil uh, with some 2B graphite on it just so it shows up on the uh, screen. I'm not using any sort of drafting pencil right now. Um, so let's say I have a pathway and I want it to uh, start at this tree here. like so, and then I want it to end uh, somewhere over here. Like so, obviously I wanna sketch out uh, how I want my curve to be. So, you know, lightly I would sketch, okay, I want my curve uh, to look something like that. And I would freehand it. Okay, uh, you can also create points along the line, but freehanding uh, roughly is going to give you a light line uh, how you want it. And then I would simply take my French curve templates and see what matches that curve. And then uh, I would simply draft over that. So I have that one that matches kind of nicely. And again, I'm going kind of light. And it looks like actually for the, the curve that I did, this five and a half inches is, is useful enough. And this one kind of has that curve that I like there. And then I could simply connect them either freehand or with another uh, curve, light curve like that. And so I've created an edge or a curve from my French curve templates that now is the edge of the path that I have. And so I can come back over 
and I can ink on top of it. Now, one thing that I didn't talk about, French curves can come in beveled edges or non-beveled edges. Now, if you don't know the difference, uh, I would link you back to my uh, triangle video, adjustable triangle. I'll link it in the description below so you can see it, where I talk about why you would want to use beveled or non-beveled edges. Uh, mainly, the key difference is beveled edges you can use ink on, non-beveled you would not use ink on. Um, since this is non-beveled, um, I'm just going to uh, go darker with my pencil uh, so you can see it a little better. But uh, when you want to finalize the actual uh, design, uh, you're simply going to ink on top of it to get a nice dark edge where you want your um, pathway, uh, your pathway edge. So uh, here I have exactly where I want that pathway to be, the nice curve that I've drawn and I'm simply going on top of it like so to create that that pathway edge and then if I wanted to depending on this is this is a fake design it's not a real design so I'm not doing anything uh, depending on how wide that path is I would set my other edge okay if it's five feet uh, four feet three feet and then I would come back with my um, my French curve again and I would draw with the same angle that other edge and I'm just going to lightly do it just so you can see um, and again that would be based on the actual um, design of the width of the walkway so pretty simple way in which you can use French curves uh, but they're very versatile in drawing in these kind of curved areas um, and again takes a little bit of practice to get the hang of it and again don't stress out if you really don't like using them if you don't understand it you know there's other options outside of it, but I really think with a little practice, you'll, you'll get the hang of it and really like using them. Okay, so hopefully uh, you got a little out of this, uh, and I'll see you at the next video.